mind. Oh, I try to keep all of my reps as high as possible. Hmm. I should make some potions at some point. Yeah, I'm kind of upset that I had that problem with, um, uh, what's his face? Um, Vasco. Right. I like the music in the game. I wish that there's a big balance, a bit more balance between combat music and regular music. Because the regular music hardly ever plays, and when it does, it's really soft, but it's nice. The combat music's just too loud. It almost makes me just want to turn music off and be done with it. I, I honestly think that I'd have to go back to it at some point and check it out later. But there was an option like where it's that had the four points, and maybe if you go to the last one, third, maybe you can just give her a response, and not and just not have said you you went to the 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 North Shipyard and found nothing of interest. Which, eh. I made the assumption that, and I remember saying, oh, I hope, I hope, you, I hope it gives me an option to not say. Is the village of Eden the Cardinal Mother told you about. The Contract, the Traveler's Grave. I appeal to the better nature of travellers on the Vidvilvi Road. My brother decided to explore it and never returned. If any of you were to find his body, please dig him a grave. So he may rest in peace. He may still have his coin purse on him. I'd be happy to leave it to you as a reward. A place sure. where natives and priests live together. Very aggressive Jorgens are built a nest east of Eden. Of course, if you need to follow the road northeast or go to the bushes, reward will be offered those who destroy the nests. We can supply you with traps. Admit, but I'm curious to see it. All that's left to do is to find Father Eustonius. Yeah, so this isn't really a native settlement, this is... So for this, I'm glad I've got Father, what's his name, Petrus with us. Yeah, I mean, it used to be. Clearly it was, but it's not now. They're not here. Welcome to Eden, the lighthouse of faith, harmony, and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. De Sade. Yeah, but I'm I mean, like, they're not the here, merchant here. congregation. And I they're am Father here. Eustinius. Delighted. And what may I do for you? Asking about the stolen tablets. 
The Mother Cardinal has asked me to investigate the theft of these tablets you discovered. That's excellent news. The loss of the tablets is a catastrophe. We have to find them at all costs. If you want to learn more about these tablets, you should go ask Sister Eugenia. She supervises the theologians who discovered them and were also guarding them. You should find her a bit further in the village with her colleagues. Who are the suspects of this theft? The heretical brutes of the village of Vedlug most likely had a hand in this. They must have wanted to please the demons they worship by stealing the holy word from us. Hmm. How could they have learned of the tablet's existence? Uh, perhaps the demons are giving them this power. Unless one of the natives living in the village innocently mentioned them. <laughs> they are so naive. Either way, I am certain that the heretics are involved in this matter. Okay. Question the theologians. I must leave you. Goodbye. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. I wonder what really happened when the missionaries came to settle here. It all seems a bit too convenient. If we find out some information about the history of Eden, maybe we'll change our view on things. The theft of the relic is probably not a coincidence. Hmm. What happened when the missionaries got here? Well, it's like what missionaries do. They tell everyone, <laughs> they teach them about um, all the bad things that they believe in and then tell them that that's where they're going to go. Oh, look, there's one. Hmm, you don't know about hell? That's where you're going. Let me tell you about it. And then we're going to tell you you're going to go there. And then you'll be so scared of it, you'll ask us what I need to do to not go there. And we'll tell you to do everything we want you to do. Hello. The Mother Cardinal asked me to help you find the tablets that were stolen. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. But hurry, I have a lot to do. I talked to Father Eustinius. He told me that you were supervising the theologians here. Indeed. It is under my supervision that the research on St. Matthias is conducted. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay, let's ask them where, she, where they were. Where were the tablets the night they were stolen? We were keeping them in one of the village's shacks. We intended to bring them to San Mateus later. But first, we wanted to examine them in order to obtain as much information as possible. You can go and take a look in the shack if you want to. But I couldn't find any traces of forced entry. Okay, in the shack. Who was guarding them? I imagine someone was keeping watch over them. Of course, we took turns guarding the shack. But some of us can't have taken the task that seriously. If I remember correctly, it was Brother Virgil. Brother who was Virgil, eh? That yeah, night. he's a bit of a slacker, that old Brother V. Whom do you suspect of being the thief? Oh, alas, I'm afraid there are many suspects. These tablets are priceless relics. Some settlers may have fallen prey to the lure of profit. The heretical natives of Vedlug may have wanted to take them away from us. Or it could have been vengeance by those who had to leave the village. Well, thank you for these pieces of information. No, I want to ask you more questions. I am the one who should be thanking you. Especially if you manage to retrieve the tablets for us. How do you, um, how do you make profit off something that has no price? The Mother Cardinal told me that this village had been developed on the basis of St. Lucius's writings. Are you one of the theologians who helped in its creation? Yes. I was sent here to confirm that this place is indeed the one described in the writings, and then I stayed. Oh. Yeah, how did the natives react to you um, kicking them out? What was the reaction of the natives when you arrived here? Most of them were not in favor of us living amongst them. They were afraid we might chase them out of their own village. And there were even more protests once we started talking about searching for traces of St. Matthias. I suppose they thought we would destroy all of their raised stones and other places of superstition. Hmm. Any confrontations? Were there any confrontations with the natives? Yes. The warriors of the village attacked us. The Ordo Luminous actually had to intervene. The Inquisition managed to make them run away. The islanders tried to attack again with the support of Vedlug, but we stood our ground. And when Lur, the chief of the village finally accepted our presence. Things calmed down. Hmm. Thank you. This information will certainly prove to be useful. 
Thank you. Thank you. I will let you work. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Let's speak to this dude. Hey, quest guy. You have a button above your head. I'd like to find out about it. Greetings, Desade. I am handling the investigation into the theft of the tablets. Sister Eugenia told me to talk to you. I'm Brother Virgil. What would you like to know? This has to be written on the Oblivion engine? I don't know. How you doing, Pandolfo? A lot of um, game studios are writing their own engines at the moment. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if, um, if it looks like something else. Like, it's kind of weird. There's no point reinventing the wheel, but sometimes there is. Or making re -part, remaking parts of it. Uh, stolen tablets. According to your colleague, you were the one in charge of guarding the tablets on the night of the theft. Is that right? Indeed. <clears throat> Look and feel of its oblivion. Hmm. Yeah, I'd agree. Also, it has a look and feel of Witcher, which has a look and feel of Oblivion, which has a look and feel of Skyrim, which has a look and feel of almost all the Souls-like games. <laughs> what can you tell me about that night? Did you hear or see anything? No, nothing in particular. The night was quiet, and then the morning after, we saw they were gone. Someone had to enter the shack to steal the tablets. How did that happen? I have no idea. The door was closed in the morning, and the lock was intact. So they've either gone in through a different way, or someone had a key. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Not really. What I can tell you for sure morning, Zergos. is it is not one of us. Well... Sister Eugenia did tell me that the tablets were priceless. Of course. But our motivation is not the lure of profit. All that matters to us is their value as proof. Not the money we could make out of them. Yeah. Do you think the culprit Denied. could be a native? Well, since none of us did it, it seems obvious. There aren't many other settlers around here. And the natives knew of the existence of these tablets before we found them. They were attached to them too, in their own way. They are the ones who led you to them. Well, and it is theirs. We conducted the research, but they helped us find where they were hidden. Some inhabitants of the village are still giving us a hand with our work. Well, thank you. I will investigate where the theft took place. Mm. As you wish. But you won't find anything there. And why does it matter anyway? There were witnesses to the discovery of these tablets. We have all the proof we need. And that's all that matters. What do you mean? Now we can prove Saint Matthias lived here. Our actions on this island are justified. To keep rummaging the way Sister Eugenia does will only create more tensions with the natives. I was not expecting a theologian to say such things. Yeah. It's a bit weird. Have you been in Eden for a long time? Two months, approximately. Back then. There were still some pagan natives in the village. I joined Sister Eugenia's team with some of my colleagues, so we could give them a fresh outlook on things. We arrived straight from Teleme, hoping mm. to study some new texts. But once we were here, I understood <laughs> that my real mission the reflection was somewhere. the island. We must bring the light to this island. Ask him about his mission with the natives. You talked about a mission with the natives. What did you mean by that? I may be under the command of Sister Eugenia here, but my superior is Bishop Domitius. Our mission is to banish pagan cults and convert the entire population to the yep, light. Yeah, that sounds like the um, island belongs to Saint Matthias, and therefore to Teleme, since the God of Light offered it to our founder. If your superior is Domitius. You are a member of the Ordo Luminis. I did not expect to find one of its members side by side with the missionaries. Mm. They usually do not get along. The Order goes everywhere. The light needs to be revealed. You have a very unique way of seeing things. I doubt everyone accepts it. Yeah. 
I doubt everyone accepts it as well. How are your relations with the natives? When I arrived, we were still trying to obtain information from them about Saint Matthias. But they were very reluctant to give us any answers. We were also trying to educate them. Our attempts eventually made some of the inhabitants of the village react badly. Most stubborn against our teachings, the warriors and the marked. The ones the natives call the Onomanawi. That's me. They eventually left, and it has proved nothing but a blessing for us. I would like to go back to work now, if you don't mind. Of course. I don't mind. You're a jerk. I will leave you to your work. Goodbye. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think he's, uh... I'm thinking this, because there was the... Way back at the start, we were told about, um some of the we found those Tolamians and we let them go um and they had contradictions i can't exactly remember what but they had found contradictions with the stone tablets and were being tried for heresy or something when they uh not heresy blasphemy i don't know it's one of those um and they were forced to renounce their findings <clears throat> so i think that he's let them someone and it's looking like him let the stones be taken or took them himself and they've destroyed them so that someone else can't study to find out the proof is actually proves the opposite of what they want to be proving father i'm glad to see you my child what can i do for you ask about tell me about how you created this village we did not create it from the ground up. It was built around an existing native village. The islanders called it Vixenagad, which translates to the village of the old sage. Ha! Huh. We saw it as a sign. The natives had probably chosen this name in memory of Saint Matthias, and everything here fit the description of Saint Lucius. The discovery of the tablets proved us right. So, we decided to rebuild our Eden here in the spirit of peace and harmony which is described in the scriptures. Yeah, okay. Why share this village with the natives? To replicate and resume the work of our founder, of course. If he came here and managed to convert the natives, then it is our duty to do the same thing. By living side by side with them, it is much easier for us to pass on our teachings. How well do you get along with the natives who live here? Uh, very well, of course. Especially since those who opposed our presence left. Left? To go where? Oh, to other villages, I imagine. <laughs> Does it even matter? Those who stayed are on the path of enlightenment. Mm. Some of their legends sure must that. have been about Saint Matthias. That helped to convince them. And how well have neighboring villages welcomed you? With some reluctance, to be perfectly honest. So, we sent them missionaries. There are still frequent conflicts with the village of Vedluk, a highly violent village of heretics. But the other villages, the more peaceful ones, are slowly starting to listen to the sacred word. Mm. There is something strange here. Yeah. It often takes time for the people of the continent to get used to our paradise, but I am sure you will come to appreciate it. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> I must leave you. Something doesn't Goodbye. feel right. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. I wonder if I can get to that through here. Jump to Sade. Don't like jump. Got 
way, fellas. Chief Lur. Oh, my bad. Hello. I am Lair, the village leader. Well, I was the leader of this village. Hello, the Sade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. There are Onol Manawi among the Logaid Blau. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. What do you want from me? Ask about Eden. I've heard a lot of things about this village of Eden, but I'd <clears> like to hear your version. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm not sure Roy have the answers to all of your questions, but I'll try. All right. Let's get there. Let's, you know, start with the start. Tell me about the arrival of the people of Teleme and how you received them. The priests were roaming around the village. Yeah. They were saying that it was the place where their saint had lived. They were asking questions, talking about the Lloyd and all these things. One morning, they were building houses next to ours. And we had new neighbors. Hmm. <laughs> the like priests that. told me that they had managed to convert you. How did that happen? As long as we refused to listen to them, they were violent and they destroyed some of our sanctuaries. Jerks. So, we let them talk. And now that they think that we love their god, they leave us alone. <laughs> Some of the things they say are beautiful, and their magic is impressive. But we do not forget yeah, Now that our they spirits. think we love their god, they leave us alone. One of the theologians told me that you would help them in their research. They wanted to find tracks of the old sage, of the one they call Saint Matthäus, and they were rummaging through everything. Our Donegad did not want to tell them anything, because the old sage is sacred here. But since they violently interrogated everyone, I thought it wise to guide them to the place where the stones yes. were. You're in a bad position there, dude. What happened to your warriors? Why did they have to leave the village? They did not accept the presence of the priests and their questions. They tried to retake the village. They even asked Derdra, the chief of Vedlug, for her help. So, the priests called the soul Lassa, the Burning Sons, hmm. and they killed many of them. Oi asked for peace. And the others left us. They wanted to join Vedlug. Perhaps they have done so. Aren't you angry after all that happened? No. I mourn those who died, of course. And the Vorstirent. But this village may be our opportunity. Your opportunity for what? For the Renaigse to understand who we are. Not savages, nor monsters, yeah. but men, perhaps wiser than they are. Poor guy. I have to go. <clears throat> like so many others. I knew that the story would be more complex than we'd been told. I find it regrettable that my colleagues aren't more honest when it comes to history. Nothing solid has ever been built on lies. Mm -hmm. Either way, the resentment here is strong enough for a theft to occur. Okay. So we should uh, look at the place where the theft occurred. Hey, look over there, what's that? Some loot. What do you know? <laughs> Speaking of theft, I notice that someone has cleared out your, uh, your pots here. Should look into that. Okay. 
Oh, okay, it's over around there. Oh, got the glowing quest marker. Hmm. There is only one entrance, and the door shows no evidence of a break in. Can't believe it. This brother Virgil was unforgivably neglectful. Idiot must have fallen asleep and then our thieves only had to take the keys from him. It's very likely that that's what happened, but someone must have informed them. It can't be a coincidence that they decided to steal it during the watch of the only neglectful guard. It has to be someone in the village. If we find them, there's a chance we can retrieve the relics. We know that this theft could be an act of vengeance by the natives who were forced to leave here. Mm -hmm. They must still have allies in the village, family or friends. We should go talk to the chief of the natives. He will certainly know who is close to the exiles, and enough about the researchers to inform them. Yeah, I agree, Pinoffo. Although, I don't think he had a faceplate. I think he just had one of these hats and was just looking down. He's wearing a suit, so it's only the helmet, which is like the religious helmet. He's not wearing any breastplate or anything. He must be a lower ranker. Where she's got like the collar and the the little um, tie thing. Oh, he's got the collar and the tie thing as well. I wonder if there's any ranking sort of regalia. He's like Petrus, who is fairly high ranking in their church. Is he's got like the the arm guards and the and he's wearing like the full full plate breastplate. She's got a sword. He's got a oh, an axe. He's got an axe. She's got a sword. He's got an axe. Mm, nothing too visual. He's got a mace. Look at that mace. That looks good. You can donk someone with that. Going all the way back there again. <laughs> too bright, too bright, too much sun. I'm a gamer. I need that sort of sunlight in my life. <laughs> 